Hello fellow Linux gamers, my name is GhostQuad57 and today I'm playing Project Zomboid by the Endy Stone. That's the developers. And uh, anyway, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Project Zomboid is an isometric uh, survival horror game. Um, it's one of those, you know, uh, you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and you've got to scavenge supplies to um, survive and you gotta do things like cook food and uh, raid houses and all that stuff that you would see in other like typical stuff you would see in other zombie survival games but uh, I feel like this game's um, unique like the fact that it's isometric kinda gives it uh, enough uh, distinction between like all the first person survival games I definitely think Zomboid is its own thing and uh, I, I look forward to the game being released although it's been in development for years now but it has seen some pretty significant changes. Like the game used to be 2D, but now the game actually uses like 3D sprites. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the version I'm running down here. Early access version 32.30 Steam. And uh, as you can also see, there's online play for this game. Um, yeah, and you actually will find a good bit of servers running. There's not always players populating the servers. But every once in a while you get like, you get some pretty full servers, like this one's got seven people, that's that's a good bit. Um, this one's got seven as well. So yeah, and uh, multiplayer was actually a thing that was, uh, wasn't in the original, uh, earlier versions. They added it in and uh, it's a great feature, because before that the whole game it felt uh, lonely, kind of too lonely. Um, but now you know you can start your own uh, dedicated server and invite your friends. They can all join in. Uh, so yeah, you, the game also has uh, workshop support. Um, so you can download mods and stuff. And there's also a tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, you have a mod menu. And then you have, uh, see on their options here, you have a lot of stuff that you can tweak with to kind of get better performance. Like you can tweak how the uh, 3D models work, uh, lock frame rate, lock frame rate, uh, inventory font, the clock format, which is kind of a, a funny one, and you can also choose between a 24 hour and 12 hour. It's kind of silly, but whatever. Uh, audio levels, uh, key bindings, all and controller. I've never actually tried playing a controller with this game because I feel it's too uh, interface is too click heavy. I don't think it would translate well to a controller, but Maybe that's something they're working on. But anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and go to Solo over here. And we're going to go ahead and pick uh, Survival, just so we start off uh, hardcore. And oh, they actually they also seem to add a co-op, local co-op. Oh, that's interesting. That actually wasn't here last time I booted up this game. See, it says over here, press A in-game to add co-op players. That's actually incredibly interesting. Um, and then after you choose what game mode, you get to choose the starting point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one. And then you get to create your character, you know, choose the gender. Roger Smith, Ben James. Wow, these are some uh, stereotypical names. Russell Robinson. I like that one, Russell Robinson. And, you know, you get to click this arrow here to sort of change your viewpoint of your character skin color uh, chest hair yeah give them chest hair stubble uh, give him a vest oh he can just be total just look like a total man man uh, let's give him a vest also change the color of the clothing uh, Picard yeah that's uh, change the hair type we're just gonna go ahead and go with this messy I guess uh, beer type full. Uh, click next. And then you get to choose your occupation and your traits. Now, uh, of course, the occupation you choose gives you um, starting attributes. Uh, burger flipper, electrician. I usually choose something like lumberjack or um, usually uh, park ranger. Uh, it, this is really, you should really just go by whatever play style you feel like you'd be most comfortable with. Um, that's why I go with Lumberjack, because I find that using uh, melee weapons is what I'm more comfortable with. 
um, and then you get to choose your traits. Now, the, now the way the trait system works is actually very interesting. You see here, I don't have any points to spend. Well, what I have to do is, I first have to attach um, negative traits to my character so that I can actually spend points on positive traits. For example, I can make my character short-sighted, but it will, and then I could use those two points to get something that may be more uh, advantageous. Uh, let's see here. Let's. I usually don't uh, mess with this. I kind of usually just drop into the game here, but just for as an example, I'm gonna get all thumbs, which will give me two points to spend, and then I'm gonna go up here and get outdoorsman. Yeah, I feel like that's enough. Um, so yeah, it, this is it's definitely a good idea to spend a little bit in this menu and just kind of slowly methodically pick through things and see what uh, You think would most benefit your play style, but uh, I'm just trying to do a video real quick All right Yeah, this min this little uh, startup text has always been the same Um, so yeah, anyway, here we are, here we are in the game, and uh, when you f first start the game, you always get this little guy that explains how you, uh, uh, how you walk around and how you um, interact with the world, and also gives you some general tips. Uh, I've played enough of the game to kind of understand it. Yeah, you move with WASD, which is a relief, um, because at first glance this may look like a, a point and click game. Good thing it's not because you'd have carpal tunnel at the end of this. And I don't know if you guys can actually hear, but that zombie's beating on my door. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of uh, atmosphere in this game, and uh, eventually he will break through that door. Um, let's just hurry up and go to the kitchen here. And um, yeah, whenever you're near an item that you can loot, you just bring up, you bring uh, your mouse over here, and uh, then on this side over here right side of this menu you can actually click on what you want to look through this is and then you can right click to grab it um, so we're gonna we're gonna take the lighter roasting pan that's not a very good weapon I'm gonna look for a weapon real quick frying pan that's always a decent starting weapon yeah it's standing by the windows actually gives you like a field of view a cone vision outside and uh, it's usually a good idea to um, right click on the windows here and close the curtains so that way the zombies can't see you. you it will affect your perception, but at the same time it kind of keeps them from you know, peering in and busting through your windows because they will do that. Um, yeah, and right now I'm just sort of grabbing supplies around from the starting house. Um, you do at least in my experience you always seem to spawn inside of a house which is neat because uh, all the other houses I've found are locked by like if I try to go over that house over there it's probably gonna be locked so I'd actually have to bust through the window clear out the glass and just to be able to loot it um, so yeah we move around with WASD -A -A and we hold shift and it runs around which makes a lot of noise so we're not gonna do that um, holding control puts you in the combat mode and you aim with the mouse and then you swing with left click um, mouse will zooms you in and you can wow you can actually zoom out pretty far I don't remember being able to zoom out that far I'm gonna zoom in about right here uh, and yeah there's all kinds of things scattered uh, around for survival like books that get a like this one for ex example which gives you an X XP multiplier uh, let's go ahead and read it see what happens oh wow it's a slow reader <laughs> that's probably because that's an advanced book but let's just ignore that uh, so yeah and you could do some pretty uh, in-depth things like I could take these bath towels then you can I, I could choose to take all of them or just two of them or whatever and then um, 
as the sheets I'm thinking of actually you can actually wrap uh, you can actually rip the sheets into bandages um, you can also do that with clothes and that's neat because when you start to take damage and your character bleeds you can that's how you apply uh, bandages um, we're gonna go ahead and take these because these are useful to have oh yeah I got it see as you can see uh, when I click right click and grab there it actually takes some time to uh, take away from the container so that does add a bit of suspension when you like bust into a house uh, go to get supplies and then you your character um you know takes things very slowly and you got zombies that heard the noise and they're coming to get you so it's, it's definitely a neat feature um, so yeah as you can see on the right side here this little notification popped up telling me that my character is slightly thirsty you will have to uh, you know make sure your character is well fed and uh, nourished and all that or else the abilities will be affected um, take this canned beef here although I do need a can opener for that but it is going to be useful to have just wanna, yeah, and the good thing is you can move these menus around or you can just like do that and uh, so that they can't be closed but we're going to go ahead how do I I forgot how to minimize the windows. I used to be able to do that, but I don't remember how. Eh, I think it's this. Oh, oh no. Uh, there it is. Yeah, so we can just yeah. So getting used to the menu does take some time, but uh, it's it's not it's not a bad menu. It's just a little different. All right, and it's also unpleasantly hot. I should probably take off my vest. There we go. That gets rid of that status helmet. Well, anyway, oh, the menus go away when you click. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this door. Oh, there's more than one. I'm going to show you guys some of the combat. So yeah, being around zombies also uh, can cause your character to get frightened and uh, panic, which of course affects things like your aim um, and how quickly you do things and how much noise you make and all kinds of things of that nature. I'm trying to see if I can't slowly sort of just walk around here, walk around town. And yeah, there's these menus here, like this left one opens up these... Uh, inventories uh, stuff and then this one over here is your character's health info and skills this is actually a useful one to have open because um, over time if your character takes damage this is how you uh, treat your character like if your character has a, uh, a wound on his right hand or left hand excuse me you would right click on it and then like apply disinfectant apply bandages and all that and all that <coughs> And it seems they have a, a crafting menu now. This is, oh, this is new. So you get this nice little interface for crafting things. Tells you what you need and all that. This didn't used to be here. I'm glad this is here because before you would kind of just have to uh, pick something up and see what you can do with it. So my character is hungry, so I'm going to eat some chips. I'm going to eat one-fourth because we don't really need that much. So yeah, when you start off, there is electricity in the households, but uh, over time, I think once your character is alive for seven in-game days, the um, electricity actually goes out, so you can't use lights and stuff anymore. And you know, and then all the refrigerators turn off and your food will begin to spoil. Okay, I, I gotta be careful with swinging too much because if I swing too much, my stamina will be affected. And that's just awful. Let's see if I can. There we go. On the offensive. See, yeah, the combat's simple, but it works. Like, it does the job. So we're gonna see if we can't. Uh, for some reason it's not letting me right click on this window. Okay, there we go. So we're going to remove the broken glass and then crawl through. Hopefully there's nothing in there because I can't really get a good view. 
We're gonna. There's a zombie coming in right after me. So we're gonna. There it is. And I don't know if you guys hear it, but whenever a zombie kind of appears out of your view, it plays that little sound. Yeah. Um, it's also a good idea to go to bathrooms because they will give you things like. Uh, usually you can find uh, painkillers and stuff, which will help uh, your character when he's damaged so that he doesn't um, re receive the uh, hurting ailment, which will cause your character to, uh, I think, move slowly and stuff like that. Um, you can also loot corpses, but usually on zombie corpses you don't find much other than uh, clothing. Oh. Go ahead. Okay, so this house has definitely got zombies in it. Oop. Oh, I might have to get out of here. This place looks like a death trap. Uh, let's kind of slowly look around here. <coughs> Go upstairs. So yeah, other than uh, entering through the windows, you can also do things like if you have a good melee weapon, you can kind of uh, very quickly uh, like hack through a door and just straight up bust that thing down. Up, up. I'm pretty sure they can, yeah, climb downstairs. There they go. view was a little obscured there, but it's alright. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yeah. Yeah, and over time your character can get bored, so that's what the magazines do, is they kind of keep your character entertained. Um, ooh, 9mm rounds. Wow, that's really good. Grab all. I just need a pistol. Um, we're gonna rip this blouse into sheets. Yeah, and you and uh, yeah, at a certain time, at a certain point, you can also do things like uh, see. We open a craft menu here. If you find a good place that you sort of want to hold up on, hold up at, you can begin to craft like uh, planks and stuff like that, and sort of build a wall around your area. Um, and you can also do things like if I had a hammer, I don't have one right now. You can you can uh, and you can find some board planks. You can plank up the uh, door. Yeah, they definitely added uh, a couple of new things since I last played this thing, uh, played this game. Which is good, you know, because the thing about a lot of uh, early access games is they never really, uh, some of them never really get much features outside of what they already have, but uh, this is definitely a game that has evolved. Like, it seems like, uh, you know, I go a couple weeks without playing it, and then when I boot it back up, it's always something new. Uh, none of this is useful, I don't think. So I'm just gonna keep taking this stuff. I don't even know what the bleach is for. Oh yeah, <laughs> drink bleach. That's a good idea. I could actually it actually let you do that. Yeah, I really need to go through the kitchen here. See if I can't find any liquids. No, but I can. Yeah, you can actually cook stuff in the oven. See here, you turn it on. You do things like put a pot on there and put stew in it and all that. Uh, Keep hitting escape to try to close these menus. That's not how it works. It's a little wow, it's a weird little room. Let's open the front door. Let's see if we can. And I know it's a good idea not to uh, be outside during the nighttime, as it could. Uh, I think zombies have a higher spawn count when they are uh, 
outside or when it's dark nighttime I'm not entirely sure though oh wow there's a lot of them here whoa oh I just took some damage I think slight damage oh that's great oh wow they really got into this house is there somebody in here there are uh, occasionally NPCs you can find I believe I don't know if they uh, still have that feature or if they took it out to rework it I'm not entirely sure Oh, that door's locked. Shit, they're coming for me too. So go ahead. I can't right click on it. Oh. Move broken glass. Oh, you can actually grab the corpse too. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. It's probably going to be a zombie in here. Let's see. Oh, yep. I heard him knocking on the door. Guess he's trying to get out. All right. Light bulb, kitchen knife. Yeah, not finding anything particularly good. Oh, my character's dehydrated too. I should just probably get out of here. Uh, climb through. Yeah, I see running triggered uh, that zombie right there. I shouldn't have did that. Because after a while, if like other zombies, I think I believe if other zombies see one chasing after you, they'll join in, and after a while, you'll just have a mob with you, and they'll follow you for a pretty long time. Whoa. Oh, yeah, they. I thought you could loot mailboxes. Never mind. Uh oh, panic, extreme panic, accuracy and vision severely reduced. Oh, shit. Uh oh, oh yeah, I don't, I'm not even keeping track of uh, where my uh, main house was. I think I just turned the music off too, by the way, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's go this way. Let's just sort of try to avoid them. Try to have them run through the uh, grass here, which trees should slow them down a little bit. I think this is my starting area, actually. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I... Oh, it's open. Oh, this is the starting area. Look at that. Uh oh, they're gonna come through here. All right. Um, do I have anything here? I did see water in here that I didn't pick up for some reason. Oh no, it's a bottle of mayonnaise. Oh wow, this is a very woo. Let's see you there. Uh, this is a very unlucky uh, start for me. Usually the starting house has some good supplies, but I don't seem to have anything. Oh, and it's nighttime. Uh oh. This is some this is some high level project zomboy play right here. Go upstairs. Oh, it is dark in here. Oh, I didn't even see you. It's so dark. They, oh, they piled in here. Oh, oh, my character is screwed. Oh, wow, this was a horrible idea. Ah, fight them. Well, I can't see anything right now. They really made this game dark. I don't remember it being this dark. Oh, he's getting all scraped up. Fight them. Oh, look at all these st status ailments. Oh, God. Ah, fight him. Oh, damn, I was doing so good, too. <laughs> oh, 
All right, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much Project Zomboid in a nutshell. <laughs> anyway, start up, die. Uh, you know, start up a new game and give it another shot. See if you can't do any better. Um, well, anyway, yeah. Think. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. And if you have any suggestions, uh, leave a comment. Um, see you guys next time.